Hello all, welcome to part 34 of Kukumbar BDD training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to organize the Kukumbar project. So let's get started. So let's organize the Kukumbar project that we have created so far from the previous sessions where we have created a lot of feature files, step definition files, runner class, etc. But we have not organized them under different packages. So it's better when you are working with projects, we have to organize these files under our respective, okay, under respective packages. Now, let me quickly switch to Eclipse IDE where we can see the project that we have created so far in the previous sessions. You see, all these files I created under a single package known as test package. So I'm not going to put this package for all, I'm not going to put all these files in a single package. Rather, I'll right click on SRC test Java. Okay. Okay. I'll right click on SRC test Java and uh, select new and uh, select package. I'll just name this package as features package. Okay. Just make sure you are giving a proper spelling mistake. Otherwise, you will, things will go wrong. Okay. F E A T U R E S. Click on finish. You can give any name here. I'm just giving the features as a name. I'll move all these feature files under this package, under this features package. You see, login.feature, register.feature, search.feature went into the features package. Now, next one. Next one is, uh, there are step definition files, classes, that is login.java, register.search.java. For that, I'll create one more package. I'll create, I'll just select this file. Uh, I mean, right click on this SRC uh, test Java and select new and select package here and just give the package name as step definitions. Okay, you can give any name, but I'm giving step definitions, uh, which will look good and understandable. Click on finish. Make sure there are no spelling mistakes so that uh, things may go wrong. Step definitions. Fine. Now I'll move this login, then register and search into this step definitions package. Click on OK. They're getting moved. Let's wait. Yeah, done. Now, Feature files under features package, login, register, step definition classes, or files under step definitions package. Now, my runner is under test package. I'll rename this package. Instead of creating a new package, I'll just rename the same package. I'll just say refactor, right click refactor, rename this package. I'll just name this package as runner, runner package. Okay, click on finish. Under runner, we have my runner. Okay. Under features, you can give any name for these packages, guys. There are no restrictions. So now I'll open this runner. I'll try to run all these feature files, okay? But you are going to get an error, okay? They're not going to run, guys, okay? They are, they are not going to run. Or, or you will not get error, but uh, you will not see any output mostly, okay? Right click run as uh, JNU test. You will not uh, see any output, guys. Proper output, you will see. No features. You see, this kind of warning came. It's not an error, actually but no feature files have run, okay? No features found at class path runner. It is saying, what is the reason behind this? You see, earlier, this runner class, this feature files, and this step definition, uh, Java files are part of the same package. So there was no problem for this runner class to uh, uh, fetch these feature files and for these feature files to fetch these step definitions. But now they got organized under separate packages. Feature files got organized under features package. Runner class got organized under runner package. Step definition classes got uh, organized under step definition. So they are at a different path. So how to overcome this problem? How to make this runner class detect these feature files and how to make these feature files detect this step definitions and all the stuff. Further guys, here we have to go to this runner class. In the runner class, okay, we have this Cucumber options. There's one, only one attribute and uh, two values are there. Spready plugin and uh, HTML, Cucumber HTML report plugins are there. Okay, I'll just press enter here. It will go to the new line. Okay, again press enter here. Okay, here I'll press enter so that, uh, okay, one minute. Here I'll press enter. I'll just organize the stuff, guys, so that uh, it looks good. Okay. Now, plugin is only one thing, guys. Okay, before plugin, I'll write one more thing that is, uh, now uh, I will say features is equal to features attribute I'm giving guys equal to I'll provide double quotes and put a comma here. Okay. 
features is equal to where the feature files are available, FEAT URES, okay, where the feature files are available under SRC test Java, under features package, just give that path, SRC test Java slash under features package, we have this, give the name of the package, that is FEAT URES, FEAT URES, yeah, features, okay, all the feature files are there under the features package, like this we have to give the path. Now, after putting the comma here, press enter. Now say glue, guys. Another attribute you have to give that as glue. In the glue, again give double quotes, put a comma here. In the glue, you don't have to mention, you don't have to mention the step definitions from the SRC test Java, guys. Directly you can give step definitions, guys. Okay. Step definitions. Because these features and step definitions are under the same SRC test Java. So feature files, for feature files to detect this uh, step definitions, again, you don't have to provide SRC test Java. Already feature files are there under the features package of SRC test Java. So here only give the package name under SRC test Java. That is step definitions. Okay, like this you give, that's it. Now runner class is able to detect the feature files and feature files are able to detect the step definitions package. Okay. So everything is intact. Now let's see whether these things are resolved or not. Okay. Now this time the feature files should run and we should not get uh, this kind of error, like no features found that kind of error we should not get or warning we should not get. Rather, we should get a proper output. Okay. And uh, now right click on this runner and say JUnit unit test. Let's see what will happen. This time it should work. You see, it's working fine. In the Eclipse ID, we got the proper output. Pretty plugin, everything got worked out, okay? You see, user got navigated and all the stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Everything is working fine, guys, okay? Everything is working fine. You can see all the scenarios got, all the scenarios in all the different feature files got executed without any problem, right? Then, you can see the JNIT also. Here also we got, you see data driven uh, tests. Then all the other uh, scenarios of the login, register, four and such, three, everything got executed without any problem. And also we can see the report guys, HTML, Kukumbar HTML report also we can say pretty also got worked out because you see if you're getting this green color uh, uh, steps means, steps in the scenarios means, scenarios of the feature file means uh, pretty got worked out. And what about the HTML uh, report, Cucumber HTML report? Let's see. It will be generated under the target folder, guys. Let's refresh the project a bit once and uh, expand the target. And we got the report here. Okay. Right click, uh, open with and say web browser. Okay. It will open. You see, we got the report properly. We got the report. Everything is fine. Here, data tables we have used in the register scenario. Okay. All the data tables are displaying like this. Fine. Such functionality scenarios. Everything is fine, guys. Okay, everything is working fine. So this is how guys we have to organize, okay? Organizing the Cucumber project, okay? We have to organize the Cucumber project like this, okay? Fe feature files should be there under the fe features package, runner class should be there under the runner package. You can have multiple runner class based on your project requirements and step definition classes can should be under the step definitions package and the runner class you provide this features attribute with uh, some value of the path of this uh, feature files. So in the next session, I'll show you guys how to run uh, specific feature files. Okay, here when I run the run this runner class, it is runner class is running all the feature files. But uh, I'm going to show you how to run a specific feature file in the next session. Okay, fine. This glue is actually attaching the feature files to the step definitions. Did you see step definition uh, feature files are now able to detect the step definitions and its uh, step definitions uh, which are created under the Okay, methods. Okay, we have created step definition methods in this step definition classes, right? The implementation of the each and every step has been done in this uh, step definition classes. Okay, these feature files are not glued with the, the step definition methods in the step definition classes of this step definitions package. Okay, that's also done. So everything is fine. So that's all for this session, guys. See you in the next session. Bye.